Jonathan to come on the stage. I believe, hi Jonathan, I believe he's not hearing us. Hello, um, my name is Jonathan Lewis and I'm the CEO of True Life Optics. And it's a pleasure to be here with you today. And I'm here to talk about our cylindrical waveguide um, with replicated pupils. So firstly, I just want to give you a very brief introduction on True Life Optics. So we're a company based in London, the UK, and we focus solely on holographic optical elements. Um, we're a team of about 40 people and our range of expertise in holographic optical elements ranges from the manufacture of holographic materials, so we make our own material and saw the halide, through to the design of holographic optical elements, then their prototyping, then their manufacture, and then their encapsulation into spectacle lenses. So what I'm talking to you today about is a very special holographic optical element um, and an invention by our chief technical officer, Andre Volkov, who unfortunately can't be with us um, today. And what he has invented is basically a unique mathematical solution um, for light to propagate unchanged through a cylindrical waveguide. This is something that many people felt or thought was impossible until, um, until recently. Um, we have also invented an encapsulation method um, which enables this to this waveguide and holographic optical in, in and out couplers to be um, fitted into spectacles um, with a prescription. Um, and I will also share with you um, some pictures of a demonstrator that we have put together, which shows the, um, the waveguide and the images that you can expect to see um, through it. So, second slide. So, what is the problem that we are trying to, to get around? Well, the problem is if you input collimated light into a curved surface, you will get a double image as shown on the right hand um, picture. So, when you input collimated light into a curved surface, the rays from the same pixel, as soon as they start to reflect a different number of times, they will propagate in the same space, but they will head in a separate or a different direction. And so what you see on the right hand picture is where if you look into the pupil replication, if you look into the, into the first one, the image will be slightly to the left. If you look into the right, the, the next pupil replication, the image will be slightly to the right because of this splitting of the rays as they bounce around the curved waveguide. And so you get this double image. And there is nothing you can do in, with your outcoupler to get around this problem. So you need a new solution in order to propagate light through a curve. And that is what, um, that is what we have um, been thinking about. And that is what this invention is all about. So, as I mentioned, this, this is true if you use collimated light. So what is, the, what is the solution? Well, we need a solution that doesn't rely on the number of reflections to avoid this problem. And actually, our CTO, just on looking around, realized that there was actually a solution, which is rotational symmetry. And the picture on the left shows a map of London with the River Thames meandering around in a curve. Um, the picture on the right shows a, a circular bowl um, collecting rainwater. Both of those natural phenomena will create waves that don't depend on the number of reflections. And as I say, they are all around us. So we are looking for the formation of naturally occurring waves with rotational symmetry. This means that those waves will progress around the curve 
but they won't change their original 